these like a ton of these are easy to grow oh that must maybe it was you that was growing them but it was that good morning friends how are we um it feels like it's been a bit which it has hey hi nala nala queen egypt nala somewhere she's a queen somewhere um and spiders right above he's probably gonna plop down in a second yep there he plopped and he got fixed as you can see let me get my coffee away anyways so um let's take a sip together friends bye nala mm. ronnie 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 what you doing ronnie Anyways, um, so I never introduced myself. Hi, friends. If you're new here, uh, my name is Lucy, Lucy Fitzmorris, and you're here to do art with me. We do art here. We do lots of paint with me. We do lots of drawing. And to be honest, you guys, um, I'm in my coloring, uh, color pencil phase. That's, that's the phase we're in right now. It went from painting, watercolor, gouache, now we're going to color pencils. So um, my plan today is to do another color pencil drawing, do something cool, you know, texture, love it. Um, I have feathers everywhere. I have a duvet blanket um, and it's like t 10 years old. So it, the, the, it's actually starting like the actual sheet itself is starting to just like thin out so when my cats come and have the zoomies I have to like Frankenstein it so like I've been I've been using my embroidery stuff to sew it back but I have a lot of fluff on me so anyways um big big news coming um I will be on a podcast tomorrow I don't know when it's actually gonna air um by the time you see this will be Wednesday so I have already have done the podcast like filmed it and and done it so um stay tuned um also it's with like a really awesome beautiful person her name's hannah um it's my fiance's best friend and he they call each other brothers because they're like so close it's his wife and so and i always feel weird saying this like I, it's his friends but now they're my friends too so i always feel weird being like my friend hannah when it's it was anyways you get what i'm saying um, so look out for that. It's the brave. I'm going to say something bad. I'm going to swear for a second. Sorry guys, but that's just what it's called. Um, it's called the brave bitches podcast. So tune in, um, really awesome podcast. She has so many amazing episodes and her, her first episode of her story is so unbelievably amazing and beautiful and just like so eloquently said and well spoken listen you guys listen and it's on um spotify so go on spotify and look up brave bitches podcast and then i will let you guys know when my episode is airing but yeah so um back to the art i do have a mini haul it's very mini again um i went to warwick so i'm excited i might i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes okay and i just got a call from my mom so i'm gonna call my mom back bye Okay, um, if you hear something in the background, that's my dog doing his dog thing. So, okay, starting off with good old Micron. I got it in green and five. More Le Pen. Le Pen. And it's like a very bright green. This bad boy is almost out. I have, well, not almost, but you know. I always get extras just in case of my favorites. This is um, Prismacolor Peacock Green. It's a good one. It's a good one. Another Le Pen. Le Pen. This is like a very highlightery pink. And honestly, I'm thinking maybe I went, oh no, it's fine. It's very different. Okay. So let's open this bad boy up. Um, so first, uh, since I just opened this page, I don't like what's underneath, so I just put a postcard by Lee in it. Um, all right, let's open up a new pageola. Should we start with pink? Um, I don't, I don't know what to do. Do I just, I'll just.
Oh yeah, friends. Oh yeah. That's nice. Is it? Okay. The pen. Oh yeah, that's a good green. Le Pen. I already have this color, technically. Um, um, oh, always when I need it. Okay, it's in one though, and it's very old. Like if you feel it, this, this is very nasty feeling. Le micron, nope, just micron. Micron. I like those two greens together. Oh boy, friends, I do. Now I kind of, I didn't get this one yesterday, but I got this like a few, whatever, weeks ago. Is that similar? Yeah, that is. That's pretty spanking similar. What is up with me? I've done that. I always do that. It's, it's literally, like, pretty much the same. Okay, well, good to know, friends. That's, doesn't look like it would be, but it is. I mean, you can, uh, I always do that. I always do that. And then we already know what this one looks like, but I'll just swatch it. right now okay prism color do you guys call them colored pencils or color pencils i call them color pencils colored pencils i don't know i don't know all right let's i'm gonna figure out what to draw and then we draw nala sweet girl what you up to oh nala you're so beautiful i love you nala i love you so much you're so beautiful you really are Nala, my plumpy sugar plum fairy girl. My sugar plum fairy. Yeah, Nala. You're so beautiful. Okay. Bye, Nala. Friends, hi. I'm gonna try and make this intro short. You're good, my love. Um, I'm gonna paint. I haven't painted in a long time. I technically did last week. Um, it was a quick abstract situation. Um, and I only have so much time just because I'm doing a podcast um, today. Um, wish me luck. I'm a little nervous, actually. <laughs> Even though I feel like I shouldn't be nervous because I literally have my own channel, you know. But, like, being asked questions, like, you know, I don't, I feel like I don't, I, I'm not a very eloquent speaker. So when I vocalize what I'm thinking, it sounds like... I'm an idiot. I don't know. That's just how I come, how I think I sound. Um, whatever. It'll be okay. So, um, I'm gonna paint something. I don't really know exactly what I want to paint. I have a couple of ideas of what I do want to paint, but at the same time, I only, I, and it sounds stupid, I do my best painting and like drawing and creativity in the morning. So after the podcast, I'm not sure if I'm going to be in that mode. So I'm giving myself, you know, this amount of time before. Um, and also I'm, I'm considering possibly just painting tomorrow and, and, and editing and doing all of that tomorrow, which would be the day that I upload. And I don't really like doing that because I want it to be already done on Tuesday and ready to go for Wednesday. Um, but yeah, also, what are you guys thinking about the colored pencil drawings? Hmm? Hmm? I'm thinking maybe they're not as wanted. Does that make sense? Like, you guys are used to me painting, so I think by me going into the colored pencil, you're kind of like, what are you doing? I don't know. Do you like them? I like them. I'm, like, in that phase right now, I'm thinking of going back to colored pencils and, like, just digging it, so... Anyways, I'm gonna paint for you guys though, just cause I am. Um, okay, we're gonna paint. Friends, hi, there you are. Couldn't see you there. Um, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
again, so sorry if you guys hear noise. Um, same old game. Got construction on both sides of my house. And I don't feel like walking in uh, somewhere to do the voiceover. So, so sorry if you hear stuff. I will try and reduce the noise. But anyways, let's get into it. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Hope you're doing well. Um, anyways, so, uh, yeah. Um, this was a very quick painting. I, um, like I said, I think in the beginning of the video, I'm not sure if I touched on it, to be honest. Um, I feel like the week's just been gnarly, so I don't remember what I've said. Um, but I find this weird thing where I can only be creative in the morning. I'm trying to work around that. But, um, yeah, so to this morning I was like, you need to get your painting done before you do your friend's podcast. Which, you guys, by the way, was really awesome. We chatted about many things. Lots of things. Art, you know, um, books marvel movies yeah we kind of nerded out a little bit um it was it was super fun though she's so awesome and um i actually i brought up something that i feel like would be a good voiceover subject um so let's let's dive into it so um i brought up the fact that i was i apologized to her because i felt like you know over the few years that i've known her or was introduced to her by um, her her husband and my now fiance um and I feel like I've always I haven't quite shown her the true full me and I don't know if I am like that with anybody to be honest except those who are like really really close to me know the full true mittens me um but I feel like I've been a people pleaser my whole life. So I've just developed this habit of being like super agreeable. Um, even though I find that I do have actually pretty big opinions and I wish I didn't, but I do. Um, so I really want to work on just being my true pure self. And even like watching back my like the beginning YouTube me, I feel like I was presenting myself in a way that I thought the audience might want or it was more like youtuber-ish you know what I'm saying um I know that's not a word but uh you get it um yeah I just I I and now I feel like I am me but uh, like I am like pretty much basically me on my channel now um I do hold back you know some st like things that I say just because I don't I my my family watches and like the way I speak is isn't fully exactly how I speak and you know if you get to know me it's more um edited just so it's you know it's nicer to the ears mainly um yeah so um I'll, yeah so I also I just I want to work on you know not being a people pleaser and saying my opinion and letting people know how I feel and I used to be like that when I was a kid like I feel like somewhere along the way it was just easier for me to just agree with what others are saying or to present myself in you know just a likable you know way to avoid conflict um and so I think that's where it kind of stemmed from. And it was just easier to be that way than be fully me or say exactly how I feel just because I didn't want to deal with, you know, you know, a, you know, someone judging me for for being me or for judging how, you know, my opinion or or looking at me crazy because, you know, I've I, and I. You know, that's something that just happens in general. I can, I'll never be able to control how other people see me or how, you know, how they truly, you know, feel in my presence. You know, I'll never know. You know, you know when, what someone tells you, but that's only what they tell you. And you may know a person, you know, so well, but you'll never know what they're thinking in their head. And I can never control that. So, but what I can control is how I act and I want to act more like me, my true self, and not feel like I should hide that. And I don't, and I don't, like, I don't hide it for the most part, but, like, with what, and I was explaining to um, Hannah, you know, sometimes for some reason I get nervous around her, and I find it's because 
you know, and this is me kind of putting myself down, but I'm like, oh, she's so much smarter than me. You know, she's so much more worldly, well-traveled, like she's so much more outgoing. You know, I just, I think she's such an awesome, amazing person. And, and I feel like I'm not, I'm not, and I don't want this to be like some, like, I don't need you guys to come into the channel and be like, or go into the comments, be like, you're not, you're amazing. You know, I'm not looking for that. I'm just telling you how I feel. And, you know, everyone, you know, I think is their own worst enemy and I for sure am. And that's something I'm really trying to, um, work hard on. And, you know, it's, it's something to think about too. If, if you guys struggle with any of like this or, or you relate to any of it, drop in the comment section. I need that too. I need to know. I'm not the only one, <laughs> but, um, if this at all helps you, um, in any way, or you find it relatable again, like I said, um, to think, like, think of your child self in front of you and think like I would never say any of the harsh things I say to myself now to that little version of me I would be so nice to her and and I have to remind myself that's still me that little girl Lucy is still there like I still need to take care of her and and she's still there you know so I can't neglect her I got to take care of her and I wouldn't let someone else say the things that I say to myself to little me or me in general, you know? So it's like, why would I say that about myself? So I'm really trying to work hard on that too. Um, yeah. So, uh, um, I don't know if any of you deal with that, but like even at work too, I find sometimes it's just easier for, you know, but it's also you're at work too. So it's kind of a different thing. Like when you were like, you know, when I was a server and stuff too, I, I have to be happy and preppy, you know what I'm saying? Or else like, you know, they're going to think I'm a bad server or that, you know, I'm, or even like, you know, anywhere you're supposed to put on a more bright or cheery face to people. Um, I find though that sometimes, that the way I may come off might be fake or disingenuine and I don't want I don't want to be like that and you know as as much of an introvert as I am I do enjoy the conversation the good conversations at least I have with people at work and I'm not being disingenuine you know I am truly intrigued sometimes like you know it depend like you know it depend like if someone's into the stuff I'm into too you know we start getting into a good conversation and I'm not just sitting I'm not just talking to you to get your tips you know for for helping you or something I'm actually truly interested in what you have to say and and whatnot but yeah, that's something I really want to work on. I really don't want to come off as disingenuine. I, do, I want to be myself. I want to feel comfortable, you know, t speaking to people. And also, this is a really weird thing. I don't know if anyone has this problem at all. And this may sound weird. I find that I use my face a lot. Like, I am constantly being, like, very, um, is it emotive word? Like, I, I move my face around a lot like I I have I I don't know I I don't know how to explain it I I feel like I could explain it better um I feel like I did have the word before I started my voiceover and I forget um but like I I to to just calm my face down and and look at people you know not with such like a a, a grand smile or you know like when they say some you know I find that I react in a way that people want so like surprise if they're like and then this happened and then I'm like what like whoa and my eyebrows are all high and it's like you don't f have to put on a full show for people when you're speaking to them and I find that I do that like I'm very um oh god I just had the word again and I forgot like Im not imitative um god I feel like uh like animated, animated. That's the word. Like very animated. And I, and you know, after a long day, your face hurts from smiling and doing that. I find that I get headaches sometimes because I'm constantly always furrowing my eyebrows too. Like my roommate who actually used to work, you know, actually my, my fiance hired me at a restaurant that's no longer around but also my my roommate as well worked there for a little bit he said I always looked really concerned or like I needed help and I'm like no that's just me concentrating so like I find that I need to relax my face a lot more um and like clench clenching my jaw too like I always find that I'm doing that and I'm like okay you need to chill like you just need to chill okay so um yeah, do you guys deal with any of that? Um, I don't know. Do I 
sometimes I feel, I know, I know I'm not the only one. I totally know that, but sometimes I feel like I am. Like, I just, I don't know. At work, I find that other people don't have this problem, but I do. And it's like, it stresses me out and it shouldn't. And it's like, how do you human? Some, I feel like I've, for, I've forgotten how to human. Like, I'm just so worried about how I come off and I really shouldn't worry about that. And not care you know because it's like that's just harming me more you know I'm I'm not getting anywhere by worrying about what other people think or you know but I yeah so anyways um the video is about to end uh I don't know if that was maybe a more that well it was a more serious topic um apologies if you wanted something more lighthearted. uh next week I will try and do so I just I I don't know I kind of it was a very I finally vocalized it to her and so it was it was a big deal for me because I've always felt worried about that and I just never told her and so Hannah if you're watching this I love you I'm sorry I feel like a weirdo around you I don't know why I don't I'm like a weird I don't know I don't know I don't know okay anyways um, well, I hope you guys have a good, what day is it? Oh, it's Tuesday. A good rest of your week. A good weekendies. Have a good weekend. Um, and then, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified. And if all goes well, Wednesdays will be upload days. Wednesday's child is full of, okay, bye.